Hello guys and welcome back to the Media Nights. My name is Ari. And I'm Denise. And today we're going to be watching Gladiator. This is a movie by Ridley Scott. One of my favorite films that we've ever watched on this channel, Alien. That movie really changed our lives in terms of, you know, how we look at script writing, how we look at set designs and the importance mm -hmm. of creating an atmosphere in your film. I think that movie encapsulates all of that perfectly. It was a great experience. It was terrifying. It was badass. It was everything I was hoping for it to be after having so many people ask us to watch it. So I'm really excited to see what he's going to do with the story. We've heard heard so many great things about Gladiator. Uh, it's been recommended a bunch in our comments, uh, both on Patreon and on YouTube. Ridley Scott, like you said, it's been a life-changing experience for both of us, just seeing what you can do with a proper set, with great storytelling and great characters. And that does definitely seem to be like his trademark at this point. I'm I'm super excited to see this. I know that Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix are starring in this. Really excited to see Joaquin Phoenix. We just saw him in Signs and his performance was fantastic. I think his chemistry with the actor that he's working with is always on par. He always knows how to read the actor in front of him and kind of deliver a performance that matches up to that and elevates the entire scene. So I love seeing his scene work. If you want to catch our full length reaction, that's going to be available on our Patreon. And if you want to watch these videos early, become a member of our YouTube. YouTube membership program. Shout out to Riddles11. Thank you so much for becoming a producer tonight. We really appreciate it. Guys, thank you so much for watching this. We hope that you enjoy and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. See ya. All right. Already loving yeah, the cinematography. It's First so shot. beautiful. Damn. Oh. Wow, what a shift in color grading, huh? Yeah. The dreamlike happiness and this cold, cold setting. Oh, that shift in his eyes, like that acting, what a great moment. Damn, the costume design department for this must have been insane. This is fantastic. Look at those. General. So he's the boss around here. Yeah, a well-liked boss from what I'm seeing. How long has he been gone? Nearly two hours. Soldier, I ordered you to move those catapults forward. They're out of range. Range is good. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just at the ready for a fight? Yeah. They say no. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that... Well, yep. That's a no. Headless horseman. That's, uh, that's one way to send a message. All right, here we go, baby. Let's see <laughs> this battle. Uh. <laughs> I love the way they show us the scale of it too, right? Yes. The more removed POV. Or you are in Elysium, and you're already dead! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not a bad outcome either way, right? Yep. What we do in life echoes in eternity. That's an epic speech. That's a fantastic speech. What That's we how do you... in life echoes in eternity. That's how you rile up your men. Oh, the music is great. It's amazing. Hans Zimmer. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oof. Wow. The sound design of this is amazing. I was going to say. Oof. Ow. <laughs> Look at the scale. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, nice. Very nice. I wonder if the second group is gonna circle around them somehow. Oh, they're flanking. Could be. Maybe. I don't know. They yeah. are. <laughs> they're getting sandwiched in wow. between both yeah. sides. <laughs> Ooh. Yep. I'm loving the switches and frame rate. It looks so good. It makes it feel so much more visceral. They translate the chaos yes. visually in a way. <laughs> oh, that's a big guy. Yeah. Uh. Oh. <sighs> a lot of legs. 
Jones. Oof. Oh. Good of yours. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that little smirk was everything. You could see it in the eyes, the high from the battle, right? Yeah. He's like, he's in it. I love how they place the camera right in the middle of the battle. Like, sometimes you can't really see what's going on. Yeah, the way the camera work makes you feel so disoriented puts you almost like right amongst the soldiers. Some of these shots already look like, an, like a painting, man. Yeah. They look amazing. The contrast between the blues and the oranges. That's it, you guys won. The relief. Yeah. The final battle is done. Look at the craftsmanship, even on the swords. It's beautiful. <sighs> must be so exhausting after that battle, huh? Oh, man. They all must be just ready to collapse and rest and eat some food and sleep. You yeah. proved your valor. Yet again, Maximus. Let us hope. For the last time. Is that not the first Dumbledore? How can I reward Rome's greatest general? Let me go home. Huh? He just wants to go home. Yeah. I mean, that would be the first thing I would want to go back to my family. Enjoy that peace for a little, you know? Yeah, of course. You worked hard for it. They honor you, Caesar. It's for you, Maximus. They honor you. Wow, look at how they believe in him. Indeed, yeah. You have missed the war, Father. Congratulations. Yikes. <laughs> honor Maximus. He won the battle. Rome salutes you. It has been too long, my old friend. I think it is time for me to leave. Hmm. Oh, he's not happy. Seems a little tense, that relationship, huh? Yeah, I mean, he skipped the whole war. <laughs> yeah. He showed up late to work. <laughs> really, Scott is just so good at creating atmosphere. Like, I'm already immersed in this. Mm -hmm. Every little detail from the sounds to the imagery and the visuals and the score. Highness, when your father releases me, I intend to return home. Home? Oh. Don't get too comfortable. I might call when I'm so long. Oh no. Please don't. Just let him go. He just wants to spend his days at home, man. Don't yeah. call him back. If only you had been born a man, what a Caesar you would have made. Oh uh, man. Yeah. You would have been strong. Would you have been just? I would have been what you taught me to be. I don't think he likes his son at all. Yeah, I don't think he is uh, really too happy in giving all of his power to his uh, his kid. Yeah, even how he approached his daughter, right? Where he's like, you would have made a great Caesar. Probably preferred her. <laughs> yeah, I am I feel like he would have if they would allow it. Oh, cool. Ooh. Oh. All right. Okay, so he's competent. He's a good fighter, yeah. Okay. Since I became... Caesar, I've known four years without war. Caesar, your life, please. Please don't call me that. Is he not happy with his, uh, his achievements so far? When was the last time you were home? Two years, 264 days, and this morning. Oof. Oh, he's been counting. Three years. Oh. All he wants is to go back, man. Yeah. There is one more duty that I ask of you before you go home. Oh, man. I want you to become protector of Rome after I die. I will empower you. To one end alone. Oh, wow. End the corruption that has crippled it. I see. Putting all of that on one guy? Would you accept this great honor that I have offered you with all my heart now? <laughs> yeah. That is why it must be you. <laughs> exactly. I was just gonna say. You are the son that I should have had. Oh. Commodus. Oh, will my, God. my decision? He will not. No, He's he, so excited to. I don't see that happening at all. Get all that power. Oh, this is not going to be good. I know. I, maybe I watched too much Game of Thrones, but I don't see this ending well at all. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Maximus, stop. Let me see your face. Mm. They have history too, huh? Mm. What did my father want with you? Wish me well before I leave for home. Good job. Keep it to yourself. I could always tell when you were lying because you were never any good at it. I never acquired your comfort with it. True. 
But then you never had to. Life is more simple for a soldier. Or do you think me heartless? Hey. I think you have a talent for survival. <laughs> I love the dialogue. <laughs> it, wow, so the witty. subtext, it's right there. Commodus expects that my father will announce his succession within days. Oh, she well, knows. You my brothers, you served his father. I will always oh. serve Rome. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. I still remember you in my prayers. Oh, yes. I pray. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for your prayers. It's the X. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> All around. You, uh, like, you, you sense that chemistry too, right? Absolutely. Oh, God. This is going to be the you're not in my will conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Are you ready to do your duty for Rome? Yes, father. You will not be emperor. Oh. Which wiser old man is to take my place? My oh, no. will pass to Maximus to hold in trust until the Senate is ready to rule. Damn, he didn't even sugarcoat it. No. He just went all out. He wrote to me once, listing the four chief virtues. As I read the list, I knew I had none of them. Oh. Brother virtues, father. Ambition. That can be a virtue when it drives us to excel. Could also be downfall. Yes. But none of my virtues won your list. Even then, it was as if you didn't want me for your son. Oh, wow. I feel bad for him, too. Yeah. What is this enemy you hate so much? That's rough. He doesn't feel your loved. false as no. a son is my failure as a father. The score. Oh. No. Oh. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. If you would only love me. Oh no. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh no. Uh. That is such a tragic backstory. Wow, what a scene. Shit. That was a great performance. On both of their ends. Oh. Great father is dead. Oh, yeah. He, he He's like, wait, what? So does he still get named or th did anybody know? Was it still? I think it was still private, right? If he never made his will public, then I would assume it's going to just go straight to his son. Right? Your emperor asked for your loyalty, Maximus. Take my hand. I only offer it once. Oh, no. He knows something's wrong, doesn't he? Oh. He's got to know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's perfect oh. timing. It's too, too good. It's too convenient. Yeah. I wonder if she knows. Yeah. She is perceptive and very intelligent. Mm -hmm. She did not hear any of it and she put she connected all the dots without being in the room yeah. at all. Maximus, please be careful that was not prudent. Prudent? Yeah, he's not gonna let the Emperor has been slain. The Emperor died of natural causes. Nah, dude. No. They killed him. Guards. No. Wait, what? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Right until dawn, and then execute him. Oh, just look at me. Look at me! She's gonna kill him like that? Your family will meet you in the afterlife. <laughs> oh. What? They are dirty for doing that. Are you kidding me? After all he's done? Oh, I can understand just, trying oh. to get rid of him because he's a threat to the power, right? But right. his family. At least give me a clean death. A soldier's death. Damn, he's ready to accept it and everything. Yeah. <laughs> That's the clean death? Oh! oh! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Sometimes it makes the blade stick. <laughs> ah! Oh, I love that! Wow! And his hands are tied. That's I how know. he's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, he's so badass. <laughs> he is pissed off. He was trying not to hurt the horse. He's oh. got him. Hell yeah. He needs to haul ass back to his family, man. Yeah, he needs to leave immediately because they're going to be... It's going to be a manhunt now. 
how things can change from someone to ascend to the throne, essentially, to a fugitive now. It also speaks about loyalty, right? All yeah. those men that were loyal to him, are they all going to still stand by him or are they going to... Are the, is the pressure going to make them crack, you know, and not follow what they truly believe? Just let this man be a family man, man. <laughs> he yeah. just wants to be... His hair is so much longer. I think it's he's been on the road for a long time. Yeah. I mean, back in the day, those distances used to be massive, right? Yes, of course. It take days, weeks, months just to travel. Even on horseback. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. Is he not? He's not going to make it in time. This is gonna, no. this is just heartbreaking, man. Oh my god. Oh man. No. Yeah, that's devastating. Are you kidding me? This was this man's purpose. Oh, man. Yeah, you feel the heartbreak with him. Like, uh, that's. <sighs> What do you do after this? They did such a great job at establishing how much he cared. Yeah. It just hits you, man. That was his silver lining. That's devastating, man. I don't... I'm so mad. They didn't have to do all that. They really did not have to do all that. No. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at this. This is breathtaking, man. The aspect ratio really does so much to yeah. show you the entire landscape. It's oh. gorgeous. Three days, a great day when you are here. Today is your most fortunate day. <laughs> Wait, he, was he in the mummy too? <laughs> Some are good for fighting, others for dying. You need both, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a trade. Or a hunter. No, no. Oh. The Numidian alone is worth 2,000. These slaves are rotten. It all adds to the flavor. <laughs> <laughs> That's salesmanship right there. Nope. Ooh. Good. Are they like classifying them depending on their <laughs> skill so they can have a good uh, performance? I'm right here. <laughs> His will is strong. His time will come. <laughs> He's like, that's the best you can do, buddy? I know. That's all you can do? You shouldn't be here. I'm a scribe. I write down words and speak seven languages. Wow. Tomorrow you can scream in seven languages. Jeez. <laughs> that's so, so messed up. That's so messed up. What do I have to do? You go in the arena and you kill me. And him and the Nubian and the deserter. He stands uh, no chance. No. I mean, there's no more to fight. You're free. Can't do that. The death sentence. But I can. So mm. can he. <laughs> I love the fire in his eyes. His performance is fantastic. There's just this hunger now. It's right there underneath the surface, just bubbling. This is shot so incredibly I well. I am loving this yeah. so far. The nerves must be setting in right about now. I wonder if he rubbed it against his hands, almost like chalk, you know, so he can have a better grip. Oh, oh, oh. damn. Mm. So they're stuck with each other. Got it. Okay. Yeah, they're set up in teams. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Nice. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, he did not last. That guy's doing good too. Yeah. There you go, teamwork. Oh, he's gonna. <laughs> <laughs> nice, bare hands. Jeez. Ah. 
Oh, he's still going? Oh, Jesus. Wow. Ooh. Teamwork. Love it. People are loving it. They're like, yeah. who are these guys? <laughs> what a shot. Epic. <laughs> a full 360. Yeah. Yeah, they're welcoming their new... Emperor. I love the visual storytelling. Everything is so cold. Yeah. It's dire, really. They're celebrating, but it just doesn't feel right. Mm. It's like lifeless, desaturated. And it's the visual storytelling once again, right? You also see like the difference in cleanliness. But the Senate is the people, sire. Chosen from among the people to speak for the people. I doubt many of the people eat so well as you do, Gracchus. <laughs> I mean, yeah. he's not wrong. Then he's reading them for Phil. Will be so good as to teach us part of his own extensive experience. Oh, oh he's just gonna get you killed too now. <laughs> All you do is kill, kill, kill. So don't just hack them to pieces. Remember, you are an entertainer. I <laughs> <laughs> like. Do it gracefully too, okay? Put on a show, man. <laughs> All you do is survive every single time. All right, Spaniard. Equivalent of director notes back in the day. <laughs> yep. <laughs> He's awesome, man. He is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Just like that. Ah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> is that entertaining enough for you? Why are you not entertained? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they that's, love him. That's... You see how quickly yeah. he took care of all those guys? You could be magnificent. I'm required to kill, so I kill. Right. The young emperor has arranged a series of spectacles to commemorate his father, Marcus Aurelius. I find that amusing, since it was Marcus Aurelius who closed us down. <laughs> what better way to spit on his father's memory, right? You're a gladiator. Yes, it was. Uh, wow. That's why he's so passionate about it. You you see it in his eyes, yeah. the reverence. You ask me what I want. I too want to stand in front of the emperor. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but for a different reason. I wasn't the best because I killed quickly. I was the best because the crowd loved me. Mm. Mm. In the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. Smart guy, yeah. When enough men have died, perhaps you will have your freedom. You got your plan. You know what's interesting? When he mentioned that he has to win the crowd to win his freedom, it reminded me of Hunger Games. Mm. And how, because that's based a lot of what they used to do in these times. Yeah. And it was very much about gaining the favor of the people. It wasn't just about being good. My wife is preparing food. My daughters carry water from the river. No. Do you believe you'll see them again when you die? I will die soon. They will not die for many years. I'll have to wait. Oh. Mm. My wife. And my son are already waiting for me. Meet them again, but not yet. You have some unfinished business to attend to. Yes. Not yet. Yep. He's like, nope. Not yet. Settle the score first. Mm -hmm. People need to know the truth. <sighs> what a great build up, right? The journey, yeah. The conflict. Now we have his entire journey and how, yeah. how much he had to work his way up. And I have to say, Joaquin Phoenix has done such a fantastic job at being so vile <laughs> as the new Caesar, the new emperor. He gives you that presence, but he also gives you that, you know, just, <laughs> there's a lot of hate emanating from him. Yeah. Anger, too. You can tell he's mm. resented. Yeah. But maybe the father saw what he, who he truly was, because as we can see. Right. It's one of those things like, did he cause it or did he just see what was already there? Yeah. You know? Win the crowd. How is he going to win the crowd, I wonder? I'm very curious now. Putting on a show, being not just a good fighter, but... It's awfully close there, pal. I could denounce the dissolution of the Senate. I think you need to arrest them. Will you stay with me? You know I won't. Let me kiss me. Wait, am I reading too much into this, or is there something Wait. going on here? Some um, very uh, Game of Thrones <laughs> vibe going on 
and what pays for it. These daily games are costing a fortune. The future pays for it. Yep. <laughs> he started selling the grain reserves. Oh. Oh, dude. I hope they're enjoying the games because soon enough they'll be dead because of them. Jesus Christ. He's bringing it to the ground. I have been living in a prison of fear every day because my son is heir to the throne. Oh, shit. He must die. She already knows that that's going to be yeah. a potential conflict in the future, of course. <laughs> they said you could crush a man's skull with one hand. The man's? No. The boy's. <laughs> Master Lucius, it is time. I have to go. Her name is Lucius? Yeah, he knows. Yeah, he's gonna put two and two together. He's right there, so close. Oh, man. Oh, that looks awesome. Oh, that's great. Will he be able to remain calm once he sees him face to face? Because I don't know, man. I don't know if I could. I wonder if they know he's alive and out there somewhere. Or if they just assume that he died. I mean, they point. must know, right? Because like the those guys that no, yeah, yeah. went um, to kill him never returned. So yeah. I, I'm going to assume. God, makes my skin crawl. <laughs> Oh, he didn't. He, he didn't, didn't say anything. He didn't salute him. <laughs> Good. Whatever comes out of these gates, we've got a better chance of survival if we work together. There you go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Smart. Oh. The carriages. Oh, that's amazing. Is that the... Yeah, they're the carriages with the spikes. Yep. Wow. I can't imagine being in that <laughs> Colosseum. Ah. Mm. Very nice. They can't penetrate. Hell yeah. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so satisfying. I like how they waited for the perfect moment. Yeah. Oh no, oh no. <sighs> oh, that was <laughs> Oh. Yo, they just split her in half. Damn, he saved his life. Yeah. The Spaniard saving the German. <laughs> this must be new for them, huh? It's like, oh, these guys are working Probably, good together. Yeah. They're working very well. Oh. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what a fantastic performance. Single cover! Single column, let's go. He's a general even when he does not have I an know. army. Are they the majority? I think they are already, right? Yeah. Yeah. They're winning. Hell yeah. Wow. What are the odds? They did not have good Please. odds. Those were a lot of horses. I want the horse to... <laughs> Look at them. People love him. Who is he? They call him the Spaniard, sire. Mm-hmm. I think I'll meet him. Yes, sire. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Oh, this is going to be so good. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. I cannot wait. I need to see this. <laughs> I need to see his stupid freaking face when he sees... Oh, he's ready. Is he going to try to kill him right now? The kid is going to get in the way. Yeah. Uh, he's not. Yeah. He's too good. Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? Lie. You do have a name. My name is Gladiator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How dare you show your back to me? Slave. Oh, you have no idea. Oh shit. Oh! Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north. 
General of the Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true Emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband yes. to a murdered wife. Tell him. Oh my I god. My vengeance in this life or the next. <sighs> he came for you, coward. <laughs> you couldn't do it yourself. No. Your own people will hate you if you kill him. And that's not what he wants. He wants people no. to like him a lot. Oh, he hates it. Yeah. <laughs> you see it in his face. I know. He hates him so much. <laughs> oh. He's like, I fucking hate you. I know. <laughs> Oh, he's so shaken. I am loving the performance Joaquin is putting. I know. Like, this is amazing. The amount of rage he's like, I wish I could do something, but I'm not skilled enough to fight you one on one. And again, how the hell are you alive? <laughs> this is so this juicy, is so man. Good. <laughs> that moment when he revealed himself just gave me chills. Oh, my God. Again, it's like the general thing. Yeah. He just, he has a way with people. He does. Well, it's incredible that the slaves, right? They've become his men now. Soldiers with him. He has his own little army now. Yeah. He still managed to do that just naturally, just by being himself. He's it's a incredible. leader. He's a natural leader. Yeah. And it's funny. They prefer him again over the new emperor. <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> It's a interesting conversation, huh? How much mm -hmm. of a victim he's been also in this entire situation. Yeah. There's more to him than just being a bad guy. And oh, I appreciate yeah. that. There's the pain of rejection, right? The lack of acceptance. Yeah. They lied to me in Germania. They told me he was dead. Ah. ah, so he did believe he was Got dead. Got it, okay. The treachery will not go unpunished. I wouldn't want to be your enemy. <laughs> she's playing both sides very well yeah staying safe she has to she's the the mole in yeah. this situation she's gonna get all the inside information they need oh, oh. oh this is getting juicy and pay well to be pleasured by the bravest champions i knew your brother would send us okay. out. i didn't realize he would send his best <laughs> My family was burnt and crucified while they were still alive. I knew nothing. Don't lie to me! Yeah, he's furious. Oh. For good reason. My brother has enemies, most of all in the Senate. But while the people follow him, mm -hmm. no one would dare stand up to him until you. Exactly. I knew a man once who loved my father. That man is gone. Your brother did his work well. I don't think he's gone, man. No, We've seen glimpses of him. Yeah, he's still there. Oh. Poison? Oh. Wow. Okay, I was waiting. I was like, wait, is he, is he messing with him? Oh my god. That's funny. <laughs> That's so dark. You have a great name. You must kill your name before he kills you. Smart man. That is very true. You destroy the reputation first, otherwise you make them a martyr. <laughs> he is so determined. Just the way he walks and the way yeah. he carries himself, you know this guy's about to mess him up. Brace him like he's one of their own. He'll be forgotten in a month. <laughs> Good job, yeah. Much sooner than that, it's been arranged. Wow, this... Guy, he's oh my God. throwing everything he's got to get rid of Maximus. It's so pathetic how she has to pacify him like a child. Such a fragile little ego. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Oh. <gasps> hey, what the hell? Uh. Yeah, now I see how they're trying to get rid of him. Oh, oh shit! <gasps> a tiger. Yeah, and the other guy's armored up too. Way more than he is. Yeah. Ah. It's 
right there. One wrong move. Oh, another oh. one. Oh. Ah. Oh. Damn it, come on. Mm. Nice. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> right in the foot. Jesus yeah. Christ. Blunt force to the face. Man, they threw at him three tigers, and they still couldn't do it. Well... He's gonna rebel against every order. <laughs> wow. The Merciful. Oh my god, he's gonna kill him so badly. <laughs> oh, he wishes he could. What am I going to do with you? <laughs> <laughs> Are we so different, you and I? Yes. You take life when you have to, as I do. I have only one more life to take. Yes. <laughs> they tell me your son squealed oh. like a girl. When they nailed him to the cross. Oh, you oh, got Oh, you did not just fuck fucking up. do that. Time for honoring yourself will soon be at an end. Highness. The way he kept calm and collected yeah. in that moment. Wow. <laughs> and he's still more graceful than you. Damn, that yeah. would have been insult. You just insulted yourself, man. He has the true qualities of an emperor, of a true leader. Oh my god, please. I wonder if his uh Holy shit. his people would fight alongside him. I really hope so. Oh my god. Aww. Your family. What do you say to them? To my boy. I tell him I will see him again soon. To keep his heels down when he's riding his horse. <laughs> to my wife. That is not your business. <laughs> <laughs> I love these wow. scenes, how respectful they are, how they ask each other questions because they're genuinely curious about how their religion works, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Every day he lives, they grow bolder. Kill him. No, I will not make a martyr of him. He knows. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Not a single word of protest. Hmm. Even the insolent Senator Gracchus was silent as a mouse. Why? Because they're conspiring against you. Oh, no. But you're dead. Close. <laughs> How long have the men been in Austria? Oh, winter. How do they look? Fat and bored. <laughs> How soon do you think they can be ready to fight? Fuck yeah, tomorrow. Nice. Oh, man. Wow. That's loyalty, man. They're ready. They're just waiting. Yeah. General sends word he will meet your politician. For your loyalty, sir. Thank you, my lady. Damn. A handsome reward. <laughs> I hope my coming here today is evidence enough that you can trust me. Hmm. A fresh horse is ready to take me to Ostia. My army is encamped there. By nightfall of the second day, I shall return at the head of 5,000 men. <laughs> Let my men see me alive, and you shall see where their loyalties lie. This is madness. He is <laughs> that confident. Once all of Rome is yours, you'll just give it back to the people. Tell me yeah. why. That's the kind of man he is. Yeah. Because that was the last wish of a dying man. Marcus Aurelius trusted you. His daughter trusts you. I will trust you. Nice. Okay. Give me two days, and I will buy your freedom. You stay alive. Yeah, and come yes. back with all those men, please. Please let this work. <laughs> Does Gracchus have a new lover? Well, the health of the Roman Senate must be bled, and he will bleed too. Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so intense. Like a snake. A frightful dream. Life is. And I have only you to share it with. Beautifully lit shot. Like half yeah. of his face is uh, lit up and the other just dark. Shows you his duality too and his mm -hmm. in inner conflict. Great. With both of them, like their eyes are emphasized so many times because they're so expressive. Mm. <laughs> It's 
getting Game of Thrones again. It's getting very Game of Thrones. <laughs> He's just terrible, this man. This is just. Please don't, please don't, please don't. What is he doing? You know, I love you. Love me less. <laughs> I have felt alone all my life, except with you. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Reigniting an, an old flame. Old flame. Meanwhile, the wife in Afterlife was like... <laughs> <laughs> really, dude? <laughs> Isn't it late to be playing legionnaire? I'm not a legionnaire. Not a legionnaire. I'm a gladiator. Oh! oh I was scared he was gonna say that. Oh, God. Would you rather be a great Roman warrior like Julius Caesar? I'm Maximus, the savior of Rome. Oh my God. Oh, this kid is so dead. This kid is so dead. The savior of Rome. I feel like he's gonna snap his neck right now. They whispered. Oh shit, he knows. Yeah, he knows. But the Emperor Claudius knew that they were up to something. The tension in this the scene is everything. Shit, <sighs> I mean He is chilling. Yeah. She's at her most vulnerable, like her son is right there. And you know he will kill her son. <laughs> oh, it's time to make a stance, man. Who are you with? Oh. Seeing you have won your freedom. Are you in danger of becoming a good man? <laughs> I think so. Good job, Proximo. He did the right thing. If you don't want any part of this, go back to your cells. We wait here for you, Maximus. Strength and honor. Oh. oh. That's my his crew, God. too. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So his stuff is there. Ah! Ah! Oh. Oh, no! Ah! Oh, oh. No! Damn! But they all—they're all dying with honor, though. Oh! Oh! oh, oh what? Shit. No! Oh! oh. Wow. They were ready. Yeah, they were. Commodus, you fucking prick. Should they share her lover's fate? Or should I be merciful? Commodus the merciful. Sealing Maximus' name? Yeah. Or his title? You will love me as I loved you. You will provide me with an heir of pure blood. Am I not merciful? I feel like that's worse than death, actually. He yeah. <laughs> just yeah. killed me, man. Oh my god. He's become a monster. Yeah. Instead of attempting to be a good man and doing better, he's just spiraled out of control. Well, it's like that saying, right? Power doesn't corrupt. Power only reveals what's already there. Makes me wonder if there was ever any good in him to begin with. Yeah. Oh, hello. I'm a soldier. I obey. Yeah, we know that. Nothing happens to anyone that he is not fitted by nature to bear. <laughs> what now? Oh wow, sick costume. Yeah, that's Damn. great. Look at that. They call for you, the gladiator who defied an emperor. Striking story. Now that people want to know how the story ends. How does it end? You tell us. What could be more glorious to challenge the emperor himself in the great arena? You really want to do that? Do you think I'm afraid? Well, I yes. I've been afraid all your life. <laughs> Did your friend smile at his own death? You must know. You killed him. Your father. Oh, <laughs> dude, I have goosebumps. Smile for me now, brother. Oh, no you way! Piece of shit, you can't even fight him on fair grounds. <laughs> what did he stab him with? Is it just like a normal, or is it like 
Is there poison on that dagger? Is he going to oh. die eventually regardless? Like, Damn, I didn't even think of there was poison on there. I just... Well, that caught me off guard. No, I, d <laughs> I knew he was a coward. I just did not expect him to be this weak. Should have known as soon as he was challenging him. I'm like, why would you do that? You know that you're going to lose. Yeah. He always does that. Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to catch his yeah. breath. He's in so much pain. Oh. Oof. Nice. Oof. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Oh, get him, man. Oh. Yes. Make him pay. Quintus, sword. Give me your sword. Oh. oh. They're defying him. Sheed your sword. Sheed your sword. That's the way they serve him. Oh, no. Oh. <gasps> oh, come on, man. Step out of it. Oh, oh. good, good, good. Oof. Oof. Damn. Yo, he's messing him up. Oh, 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 oh. It's right there. <sighs> oh, up close and personal. What was that? Oh. <gasps> Did he do it? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh no. Oh shit, know. what do you do with this now? How are people gonna react to this? Wow. He's in and out. There was a dream that was wrong. It shall be realized. Free the prisoners. Go. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's it. From the wound? Wishes is safe. Oh. Wow, he saved everybody. They don't even know yeah. the extent of the danger they were all in. Go to them. They're waiting for him. Yeah. Wow. He finally gets his peace. So bittersweet, man. I know. It's realm worth one good man's life. We believed it once. Make us believe it again. You're in charge, man. Honor him. Who will help me carry him? Oh, oh man. Ah, oh, right in the feels. Yeah. Such a heartfelt moment. And nobody cares about the other guy. Wow, not <laughs> even in death. No. Damn. <laughs> that is so fucked up. He is that destined is to be the loser forever. Now we are free. And we'll see you again. Aww. Aww. But not yet. <laughs> not yet. The moments between him and Maximus were so heartfelt too. Yeah. And so emotional. Because they came across so honest. He He's a fantastic actor, too. He was able to portray that honesty so yeah. well. Really great chemistry. And, you know, you got some of the humor. You got some of the earnestness, you know? Wow, what a view. Wow. Damn. Hey.
This was incredible. I I been immersed in this world for you know, over two hours and a half. And, and there's <laughs> so many things that stack up that help maintain the illusion. The performances were amazing. The score and just the fact that they took their time to develop the character and the journey. I think the setup was done incredibly well. It really was. They did such a great job establishing the characters too. There's always like the show don't tell. With certain things they told us, they reinforced it immediately after. And they did that so well. They used that to their advantage in such a way that each character felt like a real person with their flaws, but also their good sides, right? They felt so complex, especially in the case for Commodus. It's really hard to humanize a person like that, a person that is vile, a person that has mostly and only from what we've seen, a lot of cruel and very vicious intentions. But they did such a great job at showing him at such a vulnerable state in the beginning that like we kept wondering where it's like, is there any good in him left? Was there ever any good? Did his father cause him to be like this or was he always rotten to the core? Right. Did his father know that ultimately, regardless of how much he tried to steer him in the right direction, he would ultimately just succumb to being a corrupt person and being so lustful for that power that he was so close to getting. Man, I mean, <laughs> good for him for calling that out because like <laughs> clearly he was on the right track there he was right on the money because as soon as Kamados gets his power he just spirals out of control and it all comes down to him feeling rejected by everybody in his life it all comes down to having this I guess insecurity and feeling inferior and and not really being you know not being able to be the person that he envisioned himself that he could be right? If he was only loved by his father, loved by his sister. There's also some other stuff going in there where he <laughs> seems like he had, you know, some feelings for his sister that weren't reciprocated in, in a way that made him even more mad. And it's just tragic. I, I can see how I appreciate how they humanized him and they gave us a more, you know, dimensional character than just having a, a caricature of a villain, right? Where it's a, a very stale bad guy. He had some complexities there that made us wonder. I mean, first First of all, amazing performance by Joaquin Phoenix, by the way. He was able to pull that off incredibly well. I think this is one of the best performances I've seen from this guy. He is fantastic in this. And he was able to really balance in this weird line where I did not know if I should feel bad for him or disturbed by him. And he dances on that line for the entire movie. There's a sense of tension every time he enters the frame. This guy's like the boogeyman in this movie. He is terrifying. And, and it's I feel like it's because it, it's such an an honest depiction of a bad person. You don't immediately see someone walk into a room and say, yeah, that's the bad guy, right? Mm -hmm. There's always a level of charisma to people. And he was able to harness that and where you can go, okay, I can see how this guy can gain all of his followers. I can see how he can seduce people to fight for him and, and believe in him. And you see that. You see how he can become vulnerable. And then as soon as people leave, he's like, yeah, that's, I got exactly what I wanted. And that's how he's been navigating this entire situation. Situation. He's still a coward. He is a coward. He does not want to fight people on level ground, as we saw throughout the entire movie. You know, he was late for the fight. He did everything in his power to kill Maximus without having to, uh, you know, get his hands dirty, per se. So there's a lot of things in the movie that makes us hate him. But I feel like the, the performance that Joaquin gave and those little moments, the intimate moments when nobody else is watching and we're stuck there alone with him is what made him such an interesting, gripping, magnetic character you know the movie ends and like we have an idea that he's a bad guy but there's still that lingering doubt of what if he would have gotten all the love that he says he needed would he have been someone with more honor or would he have still swayed in the side of corruption right and it's so interesting that he's like that because i feel like he's on the exact opposite of the same spectrum of maximus i feel like they are exact opposites and they marry each other in such interesting ways because where Commodus has to fight and adjust his behavior to seduce people right and to win them over you see that Maximus does it just by being himself he's yeah. just naturally a leader he is likable like from the very beginning as he was walking past his soldiers you see them all going general sir and you see the admiration and the respect that they had for him and i think it also therein lies the difference of ruling through fear mm. versus ruling through respect when you rule through fear people will turn on you much much faster than if they follow you because they respect you and we saw that at the end the commodus's corpse was just left there just 
forgotten. And it's so funny. I feel like that was his worst nightmare come true. Even in death, they still chose Maximus over him. They and it, him. it's just so tragic, but it's also so satisfying all at the same time. Yeah, because I mean, we love to hate villains, right? And he's been such a puny, despicable <laughs> man that's just, he's just constantly making life miserable for our hero and our protagonist. But there's a sense of Again, you know, the movie's done such a great job at allowing us to see beyond what most of the other characters in this film has seen. We've been with him alone. So there's a sense of feeling bad for the guy, like mm. actually bad and tragic. Like you mm. said, that that this is his his final moment in life is still being a loser, <laughs> like he's still be coming in last, not being remembered, being forgotten to a point where you can kind of justify that he was <laughs> sort of right in, in being this desperate, this mm. angry at the world, because ultimately he knew because he was so hungry for this love and he was so desperate, he ended up causing what made him be hated in the first place right mm -hmm. and that's just the the it's a tragedy obviously it's it's a, the tragedy of the character and it, i thought it was done so well but it couldn't have worked this efficiently if it weren't for those 30 minutes of setup that we had in the beginning of the movie i think those 30 minutes yeah. they they do a lot of heavy lifting here and, and having us understand where these characters are coming from where they're going and why they're moving in a certain direction the moments between maximus and marcus aurelius were so well done too where you could see the genuine love that this man had and the admiration that he had for maximus and then you get the scene uh, basically mirroring the same moment with his actual son. And then you get that intimate scene and it's just, you see this man just break apart from the inside. And I thought, first of all, the, the, the shots and the techniques that were used to make him go from seeming vulnerable as he's breaking down and crying to having a lower, you know, the camera set lower to make him appear larger on the frame. Mm -hmm. And then the switch of music, we immediately were mm -hmm. like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? And then it takes that dark turn that ultimately leads this character to his own demise. Incredibly well written incredibly well shot the the music the way that it's accompanying the entire film the score is just one-to-one -one with what yeah. you're seeing on screen and you know sometimes there's times that that is not always the case there's times where the movie's kind of okay and the music is just so freaking good and you're like dude you did not have to go this hard <laughs> and there's sometimes where the score is kind of uh, it's forgettable i think Hans Zimmer did a fantastic job at having the score match one-to-one -to, -one to what's happening on on screen to the point that it, it just elevated the entire feeling of the movie, the entire atmosphere. When you were talking about the cinematography and angles, I also thought it was very interesting that in certain scenes, they used it a couple of times where if a character is having a conversation with Commodus, there is, the shot is significantly closer to his face, where his face is almost taking over the entire screen. And then when it cuts back to the other character, especially with uh, Lucilla, when mm -hmm. they were talking, she appeared so much smaller because she was further away. And you just saw, even though he was sitting down and looking up at her you saw that he was holding the power in that moment and you saw that switch happen very gradually throughout the movie you saw how relaxed she was in the beginning you saw her, like she was like laying in the carriage she was she was much more at ease like still a little uncomfortable with him clearly from that dynamic between the two of them but still significantly more relaxed. And that woman disappears entirely when Marcus Aurelius, her father, dies. In the writing, but also in the visual storytelling, with especially with the lighting as well, they've done that transition so smoothly that it's almost like you not really quite able to pinpoint when exactly that change happens but it happens and then by the time you realize it it's already way too late and you're like oh my god this is a this woman is a completely different person you see the trauma and the fear that has worn her down of constantly worrying for her son you see that everything that she's doing is for her son just to keep him safe i just thought that the way all of that was interwoven and how subtly it was handled it was very very good writing actually like inspirational <laughs> yeah no this was a great epic really enjoyed the direction the cinematography performances music mm -hmm. i thought everything was top notch it did not feel like a you know an almost three hour film i thought that the setup was again done so well mm -hmm. that the rest of the movie can just you know it's smooth sailing from then there on and everybody involved is so engaged in the performance and in the moment and they mean what they say the line deliveries in this are incredible i mean you know hats off to russell crowe joaquin phoenix yeah. connie nielsen they all did incredible work here i mean i can see why people love this movie this was a great time guys so thank yeah. you so much for watching this with us we hope that you enjoy and as always we'll catch you guys in the next one take care see ya